Two in-game systems in Genshin Impact have been buffed massively on the Sumeru update and I want to talk with you about them today. The first in-game system that has had a massive glow up is the Artifact system. Now the Artifact Strongbox has gotten all of the Leoe and Mondstadt artifacts available for you to reshape your bad golden artifacts into new great golden artifacts. Now you need 39 artifacts to craft a grand total of 13 new ones. But crafting 13 new golden artifacts means you save 260 resin on re-rolling these artifacts. Because of the wide variety of options like you now have Blizzard Slayer, Heart of Depths or the VV Swirl set, I would really recommend you to use your golden artifacts on the artifact strongbox as you can build entire characters from them. I have recently built my Ayaka just from using the artifact strongbox and I will be releasing a video on this tomorrow probably. And I think the new artifact strongbox is just a massive glow up. Really keep your eyes on these artifact sets and which ones are in the strongbox as it is a great way to upgrade characters or finally get off that emblem set while just farming the emblem set for characters where it is best in slot. The second glow up is the Electro element. Now Electro and Dendro together are a amazing combo, but especially some Electro characters that weren't really in favor before, like Ye Miko, who does reasonably high damage, but wasn't really excelling at anything and kind of got roasted on release. Or someone like Fischl, who was always good, have now been upgraded and are much more appreciated as they combine together with Dendro to create some of the highest damaging team comps that Genshin Impact has to offer. So if you really like your Electro Waifus or Razor and you can combine them with a Dendro character, you can create some new and interesting ways to play and I would say a new playstyle has been unlocked where Electro can be paired with Dendro to make the Electro Dendro synergy. You can even swap some Animo in there for maybe some grouping. I'd like that. Electro has been buffed to a great element as it used to be joked about how Electro was the element that just had big raw damage and didn't really have any reaction. I would even go so far as to say that these new Electro Dendro teams can compete with Pyro Hydro for some of the highest DPS in Genshin Impact. But I don't think the meta ceiling has been broken where these teams are better than the currently known meta so there is no reason to panic. But if you really like these team comps, try them out. Now those were two things that I think have really been upgraded since the Sumeru patch. What kind of new systems or new changes have you been experiencing that have improved your Genshin gameplay a lot? Please tell me in the comments below and have an amazing day.